Howard Community College, Harford Community College, ready to renew their rivalry. Since Howard's emergence as the best team in Region 20 back in 2017, and Harford dethroning Howard in 2019, in Harford's first Region 20 championship in what they call the modern era, record keeping is tough in Juco lacrosse, this has become the rivalry in Region 20 men's lacrosse. Both teams enter the game with undefeated records. Somebody's O has got to go. Man, I miss doing this. Matt Stovall here for Howard Community College. If you like this video, we need your support now more than ever. Please subscribe, comment, like. I'm looking at you, former Howard players, rivals, former coaches, fans. Need your support if you enjoy these videos. So again, please subscribe, comment, and like. Let's go, Howard. Harford off to a fast start. Fighting Owls scored the first three goals to take control. Settled offensive possession for Howard. Philip Peterson beats the short stick, draws the slide, connects with Cole Blanche. Dragons are on the board. At the time of this recording, Blanche leads Howard in points with 13, the freshman out of Linganore High School, emerging as an impact player. But a strong showing in the first quarter for Harford. 5-1 lead for the Fighting Owls, Jack Krasny, who's up there with Kevin Curcio and Chris Reinhardt on my list of dragons that you won on the field during a big game with the goals he scored in pressure situations. Let me know who's on your list down in the comments. Krasny working against the pole. Krasny frees himself up, hits Nick Hinton. Dragons respond. Hinton, another impact freshman for Coach Faust, leads, leads the team with 10 goals. Nice finish from the 5'11 attackman out of Liberty High School. But Harford countered with another goal. Fighting Al is looking strong. Harford entered the game with a 3-0 record. They're ranked number two in the NJCAA. Howard goalie Evan Hawk with the save, but 14 in blue. Caden Onagi gets the ground ball, and Ben Farrell puts it away. Five goal lead for Harford. Evan Hawk stepped up, especially in that third quarter, made eight saves in the third, 16 saves total against Harford. Here are some of his best. Doorstep denials galore. Nice job by the freshman out of South Carroll High School, making some big plays, despite Harford out shooting Howard 53 to 31 and controlling the pace with advantages in ground balls and faceoffs. Fourth quarter, seven goal lead for Harford. Drew Good standing tall against the long pole. Good wins his matchup, keeps his eyes downfield, finds a wide open Jordan Sawyer, scores! Ends a long Howard scoring drought, we have a six goal game. But Harford would pull away yet again. Fighting Al score a convincing win over Howard. Harford wins it 15 to three, surprising scoreline. Dragons have their work cut out for them should these two teams meet again in the Region 20 tournament. These two rivals have met in each of the last four Region tournaments. Feels like they're on a collision course again in 2021. What can you say about your, your defensive effort and your team's defensive effort? Um, I think we came out, we, we were strong. I think we did a good job winning matchups. Um, sometimes I think we made little mental mistakes and slid sometimes when we didn't need to or not go when we needed to. But uh, I think we played well. It's just kind of tough when you're playing defense after like minutes, minutes over and over. And these guys are, you know, there's a talented team, you know, so they they they're, they were smart and they exploited our things that we messed up on. So um, I think just at practice, uh, the entire team just has to, lock in and get better the uh, last two days of practice. But for this game, we uh, were kind of riding a wave that we just beat Essex on. And um, I'm sure those guys are on the other side looking at everything we were posting and all that stuff and probably just adding fuel to that fire when they came out here. So, I mean, I think they just wanted it more today. But uh, we, we'll see them again. It's going to be a different story. What, what were your takeaways from this game defensively that possibly you and your teammates can build on? So we had a game plan out and they did exactly what we planned and they just executed it. We didn't own our matchups. We didn't hustle. We didn't work hard. We just let them just do what, do what we said they're going to do. Just how motivating is a, a day like this? Um, although this is a regular season game, this is a big matchup. It's a big rivalry. We were really motivated at this game. If we're not, then I don't know what, what we're playing for. Uh, we just got bounced back. It's a tough loss. So what can you say about Evan's performance today? He seemed like he really, this one meant a lot to him, it seemed like. It definitely, all the games mean a lot to him. Um, he's the one, of, one of our leaders. He's our captain. So um, every goal that went in, it was just tough. Um, he worked so hard, he helped us out. Uh, it was just tough. Um, he, d he did all he can for us. 
Uh, we just had to help him. We just couldn't help him. So after today, how how do you uh, plan to just attack the next practice and put this one behind you? How do you plan on going about that? I mean, we can't put it behind us. We got to take that game personal. Uh, all the shenanigans after the game, everything, we got to take it personal uh, and just bounce back. Every team, we just got to bounce back. Next time we see him, we're going to see him again. What do your teammates mean to you, Daniello? This is your second year taking classes here at Howard and playing lacrosse. Just what does this group um, mean to you? Team makes me everything. It's our family. Um, this is what we go to war with. We go to war with each of our brothers. So um, each of our teammates, even the weakest link, mean everything to us. All right, Daniello, last one. Um, I, I just got to ask. So, you know, this one's going to be tough for the fans. This, this loss, you know, we're, we're, nobody's going to be happy to see this final score. But, like, what, do you have any message for the fans? Only thing I say, keep coming out. Keep supporting us. Thank you for coming in the rain, the bad weather. Keep supporting us. We love you guys. Just keep coming to our games. Don't, don't let it out this on us.